if you hire someone to make a website for you, the question still remains, who owns the copyright on the website? Let's talk about this and how you can deal with it. Imagine you have uh, so hired someone to create a website for you, or you did something wrong and how you can fix it. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about legal, business, and intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Intellectual property is copyright, trademark, patent, and other IP laws. In this video, I want to talk about what can you do if someone makes a website for you and something went wrong with the copyright. So, I want to discuss an agreement with you. I'm going to also give you some solution that you can use. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, don't. Yeah. But uh, let's begin. It's important to know when someone creates a website for you. So you hire someone to create a website for you. And you have an agreement. So this is you. This is the person that you hire. So the web designer. You have an agreement. And when you have an agreement, the person creates a website for you. But most of the time, people accept the terms and conditions of other companies. And the thing is, when they create it, the copyright is still with them. So if you hire me and I'm a web developer company, if you hire me and I make the website, I will say nothing about the copyright, but copyright stay with me. You understand what I mean? What you can do is when you hire someone, put in the agreement that, you, that they will transfer the copyright to you. That's one option. Another thing is, what you can do is, if you forget that, or someone designed uh, the website for you, or someone developed the website for you, and you didn't take, you didn't receive any copyright, what you need to do is the following. Offer them an, an agreement where they transfer all the copyright to you. When they sign it, that means your company or you have all that copyrights that's on the website. So, um, one thing to be clear, when someone design a website, you need to make sure that they own the copyright. Because sometimes when people design the website or create a website, they use pictures of other people. You need to make sure that those people have those rights to transfer those copyright to you. Otherwise, it's not a valid trans uh, transaction. So watch out for that. So how can you do that? So imagine you pay someone and they already developed the website and you want the copyright. You can send them this agreement and this agreement will tell them okay listen you guarantee us that you have the copyright on the website and you transfer the copyright to me if i want them or if you want to you will want it so you transfer the copyright you can agree upon a uh, price for it it's hard to determine the price of a copyright um in the photograph world people will ask three times as much as price doesn't mean that's the guideline just to be sure okay eh? but um what you need to make sure is when you're getting when you are getting the copyright that you make sure that the copyright holder or the person that claimed that's copyright holder that he is the copyright holder so um let's look at some uh, uh, terms in the agreement so you can see what i'm talking about so um this is the agreement and one important agreement is is that the author represent and warrants that it is the owner of the copyright in the work described as here you put in the scribe of the website what it is and what they claim that the owner because this is important because in the rest of the agreement they're saying okay we are talking about this work this uh this website and when the copyright holder say hey i'm the copyright holder of this he transfer all those rights to you that's what they're discussing uh, in this agreement the thing is if you want this whole agreement and if you want to use it you can be a special patron member and if you're a special patron member and you're supporting us you can download this for free if you have question about this or you want this agreement or anything else feel free to contact me and i will see you in the next video <laughs>